and that's what uh, you're being warned here as well. Um, the words all things cannot mean things which are contrary to what the Lord would ordain for his people to do, obviously. In such instances, disobedience to the parents' directives would be the proper course of action. Even as children within a household, obedience to God's word must come first. Okay, if your parents are not doing something that is in accord with scripture, you are to be, uh, you know, honoring of your parents, but you are not to obey the thing that they are telling you to do, which is a violation of scripture. There must be a hierarchy in your life, and you have to know that in advance. What is the hierarchy that I'm going to follow? Because if the government tells me to do something contrary to the word of God, I ain't going to do it. They can send me to prison, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, that's how it should be. You should be willing to stand up for what you believe in a set of priorities. This is priority one, this is priority two, this is priority three, and somewhere way, way, way down here at the very bottom of it is what you're going to have for dinner. But all these other things are really important issues that you need to think through before you are faced with that. You know, a good example of that is Corey Ten Boom, right? She had a decision she made about the Jewish people, and she said, I'm going to stick with this. I am going to follow through with this, and she did. It was the right moral decision to make, even if it was against the law of the land. Hence, when it says in Romans 13 that you were to be obedient to the rulers, there has to be a moral deviation from that if, in fact, the government is telling you to do something that is not biblical. All right. So, um, however, when God's word must come first, however, when the instructions of one's parents is in line with Scripture, or at least neutral in regards to Scripture, then obedience to them is right and proper. And, you know, like this uh, young man, he, he, I'm not giving him as an example. I'm just saying that there are, uh, you know, certain young people that attend online, okay? I don't know their ages for most of them, but I know that they're between, we'll say, uh, 10 and 22. Where they're in that, that, that age, and, you know, they'll email and they'll say, you know, I'm, I'm in high school or I'm whatever, and I have this problem at home with my parents, okay? And what should I do? And I will say, now, I'm not here to get in between you and your parents in this. And I will take what I've said here, and I'll say, you know, you must be obedient to your parents, but you also have to find uh, uh, follow the highest rule, which is the Lord's rule, okay? I have to be uh, honest with Scripture in this. I said, but if what they are telling you is not in violation of Scripture or it's neutral to Scripture, you need to do what they say. That is what must happen. And I try to uh, tell them that in a way that they will process it properly. They need to make sure that they are being obedient to their parents because those are their parents. And that is what the law would ask them or the, the law of God would ask them to do. But uh, at the same time, if their parents are asking them to do something that is contrary to God's law, contrary to scripture, they need to not do that. They can tell their parents, they can say, you know what, this is this is not in accord with God's law, and I am going to stand on Jesus. That's all there is to it. And that's going to cause a problem, you know, and they can say, well, Uncle Charlie told me to do that. You know what? The Bible told me to tell him, okay? That's, I just, I, it's a very tough thing to be put in that type of a position, but you have to uphold what is morally right above all else, okay? And the parents, if they're wrong, and they want to email me and say, well, here's what we're doing, I say, if you're, what you're doing is wrong, you should not be teaching your children to do that. That it's just one plus one should equal two. So, whatever. Okay, so um, uh, I'll read that last sentence again so you get it. However, when the instructions of one's parents is in line with Scripture, or at least neutral in regard to Scripture, then obedience to them, meaning the parents, is right and proper. As Paul notes, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Christ was obedient to his Father, and he has set the example for all others to follow. There is a strict hierarchy which has been ordained by God and to which we are expected to adhere. In doing so, we will be pleasing to the Lord. 